Can you imagine Charlize Theron as the iconic Pamela Voorhees? Discover all about A24's bold plans for the new Crystal Lake series. Imagine the iconic actress Charlize Theron taking on the role of the infamous Pamela Voorhees, mother of the legendary killer Jason Voorhees. Recently, shocking revelations emerged that Theron was considered for this role in the new prequel series, Crystal Lake, part of the Friday the 13th franchise. The series promised to bring a fresh perspective on the origins of the events that led to Jason's rise, but it faced significant behind-the-scenes turbulence. Production company A24 and showrunner Brian Fuller, known for his work on Hannibal, had ambitious plans to transform Crystal Lake into a landmark in the horror genre. Theron, with her ability to turn any character into something iconic, would have been a phenomenal addition to the cast. However, internal problems and production conflicts shattered these expectations. Let's dive deep into the tumultuous production of this series and explore how Charlize Theron's participation could have changed its course. What exactly went wrong? What obstacles were faced? And what does the future hold for Crystal Lake now that Fuller and Theron are no longer involved? The new Crystal Lake series was conceived as a prequel to the iconic Friday the 13th horror franchise. The idea was to explore the events that occurred before Jason Voorhees' emergence, focusing primarily on his mother, Pamela Voorhees, and the circumstances that led her to become the vengeful killer we know. Production company A24, known for its innovative and bold productions, teamed up with Brian Fuller, the visionary behind series like Hannibal and Pushing Daisies. Fuller was chosen to lead the project, bringing a psychological and deep approach to the story of Pamela Voorhees, promising to add layers of complexity and psychological horror to the famous slasher terror of the franchise. Charlize Theron, known for her versatility and intensity in roles ranging from emotional dramas to explosive action films, was being considered for the role of Pamela Voorhees. Theron's casting had the potential to transform the character, offering a new perspective and depth that could redefine the franchise. Pamela Voorhees, originally portrayed by Betsy Palmer, is a central character in the Friday the 13th mythology. Fuller's vision for the series included exploring Pamela's traumas and motivations, giving the audience a deeper understanding of her actions. With Theron in the role, the character could have gained a new dimension, blending vulnerability and fury in a way never seen before. Despite high expectations, the production of Crystal Lake faced several challenges. In May 2023, Fuller and his co-showrunner Jim Danger Gray were fired, throwing the production into a state of uncertainty. Reports indicate that issues with inexperienced production executives and internal conflicts over the creative direction of the series caused these dismissals. The series had an initial budget of $85 million, a significant amount reflecting the project's ambition. However, tensions between the production team and A24 executives led to the decision to halt the project under Fuller's leadership. Fuller's departure was a major blow to the series, which was still in its early stages of development. Fuller's dismissal had a profound impact on the plans for Crystal Lake. The original vision for the series, centered on a psychological and deep approach to Pamela Voorhees' story, was abruptly interrupted. Additionally, Fuller's departure also meant that Charlize Theron, who was closely linked to the project, would no longer move forward with the role. Despite these difficulties, both A24 and Peacock, the streaming platform that commissioned the series, continue to believe in the potential of Crystal Lake. Recently, A24 publicly stated that they have not abandoned the series and plan to continue developing the project, albeit with a new creative team. The challenges faced by the production of Crystal Lake were many, and quickly began to accumulate. In May 2023, showrunners Brian Fuller and Jim Danger Gray were fired from their positions. This decision caused a major stir among the production team and fans who had high expectations for the series due to Fuller's successful track record. Reports indicate that the problems began with disagreements between the showrunners and A24 executives. The executives, apparently inexperienced in handling large-scale and complex productions, made a series of questionable decisions that conflicted with Fuller's creative vision. This friction culminated in a tense work environment and eventually led to the dismissals of Fuller and Gray. The first season's budget for Crystal Lake was set at $85 million, a considerable amount reflecting the project's ambition and scope. However, managing this budget also became a point of contention. 
while Fuller wanted to invest heavily in practical effects and realistic settings to create an authentic horror atmosphere, the executives preferred to cut costs, leading to more conflicts and ultimately to the project's halt under Fuller's leadership. Casting Charlize Theron as Pamela Voorhees could have revolutionized the series. Theron, with her ability to bring complex characters to life and her powerful screen presence, would have added a new dimension to Pamela's role. Her interpretation could have offered viewers a deeper and more empathetic understanding of Pamela's motives, transforming her from a mere villain into a tragic and multifaceted figure. With Theron's departure, the series lost one of its biggest stars, and an element that could have attracted a broader audience, including horror fans and loyal followers of Theron's career. Despite these difficulties, A24 and Peacock still believe in the potential of Crystal Lake. Recently, A24 reaffirmed their commitment to the project, stating that the series has not been abandoned and that production will continue with a new creative team. This declaration brought relief to many fans who feared the project would be permanently cancelled. The search is now on for new showrunners and a cast that can fill the void left by Fuller and Theron. The expectation is that, with a new vision and perhaps a different approach, Crystal Lake can still become a successful series. The departure of Brian Fuller and Charlize Theron had a significant impact on the creative direction of Crystal Lake. The original vision, which promised a psychological and deep approach to Pamela Voorhees' story, was interrupted, leaving fans and the production team wondering what could have been. Fuller had plans to explore Pamela's motivations in a way never seen before, bringing out the human side of the character and creating an arc of redemption and tragedy. Theron, with her ability to portray complex characters and her magnetic screen presence, could have redefined the character of Pamela Voorhees. Her participation would not only have attracted a broader audience, but also elevated the level of performance in the series, potentially gaining critical acclaim. Without her, the series lost one of its biggest assets, leaving a gap difficult to fill. Despite the setbacks, A24 and Peacock remain committed to Crystal Lake. The recent statement from A24 reaffirming their commitment to the project indicates that the series still has the potential to be developed with a new creative team. The search is now on for new showrunners who can bring a fresh and revitalizing vision to the project, maintaining the essence of the Friday the 13th franchise while exploring new directions. Friday the 13th fans are notoriously passionate and have high expectations for any new project related to the franchise. Anticipation for Crystal Lake remains high despite the difficulties, and many hope the series can finally do justice to the rich mythology of the films. Fans want to see a balance between classic horror and new narrative approaches that can revitalize the franchise for a new generation. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.